and baiting him, baiting him to come in and do some bad stuff. Well, uh, he doesn't know I have AT. One shot and another shot and it's down 3-0. Hello, my name is Free Happy Dolphin, and welcome back to Company of Heroes free gameplay commentary video. It's been a while, but right now we're back on, and it's really great to be back on with kind of battle when you have right mindset, you think always one step ahead, and yeah, everything seems to go your way all the time. As you see, we start uh, quite normally with scout in the center, going for fuel and munitions, and all right side, getting one engineer also, and then getting right. Rifleman, a really flexible start and just looking what happens after that. And as we see, our enemy is building machine gun straight away, going for a cheap engineer, scout and then machine gun. So that'll be a team what I will notice quite early on. Uh, actually, he will be getting even another on machine gun. Now we go to the center like planned, um, just looking around. I like to get always, you know, kind of complete view of the map see what opponent is doing i'm not really trying any uh, hard push one side uh, tactics yet and now as we go to the center with our rifleman first we see a scouting unit there also i'm taking this nice position a bit higher up i always pre-cue that as you not only get nice vision over the cap circle but of course you can shoot your enemies and as well there's a bit of cover for your a uh, few models so it's really nice to have this tip in in the bag now our scout is going for the right side also he's seen his scout i think moving to this side but now we don't meet him and here we see your first machine gun so this is quite normal still i'm thinking okay well, machine gun, or possibly that will be a center attack. I still can try to advance to the center with another rifleman, but of course I understand, but for just a bit, the center will be his, so let's not lose a lot of models here. Um, I see these uh, engineers coming here, peeking, not really can do anything as I squeeze them with our units. And uh, yeah, our scout doing quite well on right side as well, just having a lot of control in the map. I push here, I know what machine gun possibly will come to the center and as we heard he just entered the building and we see here and i will back off here just going there um trying to squeeze that engineer still not getting in the suppression also will push with engineers from the back that will be really successful as we see uh yeah getting some suppression but immediately going to that wall now what i do here i try to cut him as i have that back control and see another and never machine gun here, so I immediately thought, okay, two machine guns, I need to go for mortars or go for that battle group uh, to get howitzers. Uh, well, I will be sure to really quickly uh, queue in uh, mortars as we see his engineer taking double damage, not a lot of suppression coming here, right? And he's down. He did not really care about it. Well, we cared about it more. Also trying to sneak uh, this fuel uncap here with scouts, uh, getting a bit of cover not to lose uh, models. But uh, of course, it does not go other way. We just retreat. Not really um, fancy of losing a lot of models and not really can do a lot here. As we got our units back uh, for healing, we got our mortar, which will be... Uh, right now sending a lot of shots to that building and uh, yeah we got our infirmary and as you can hear planting some mines for scout getting to the center as uh, there will be an empty spot uh, of that machine gun soon set the mine here and here as you see that will be super useful as his scout i know he will be sweeping around here and trying to take those points uh, so that will be really good. I'm repositioning my mortar right now as this building is empty, going rifleman down there. Um, also, we're getting upgrades for uh, our rifleman as we hear. And uh, we're progressing here just uh, as I saw some units coming here. I will know what we will need to fight here. Yeah, his scout unit. So that will be panic attack for him as I predict that here I don't fight I just set my mortar to attack that uh, machine gun before and I get out just save those um, save those models we not really like to lose them so get out of the positions you don't win uh, as engineer starts to push and get that back control we again I saw him pushing 
back here uh, so I get back with my rifleman to pressure more as he goes here and guess what's going to happen here one down that's a really good mine for us as he tries to sweep to our backside and loses his scout unit here also I don't fight as there was a machine gun um, really not okay fighting here I'm just going around and just later coming from this side and um, trying to push him out as I know that some reinforcements are coming to clear those machine guns. He comes back here to double, uh, double attack my engineer trying to uh, cut him off. Uh, well, that's really interesting uh, overcommitment let's say. Uh, that kind of works. I still go in the back to harass a bit more. And now in the center, uh, we are smoking out that machine gun and waiting just a tiny bit to being clear to attack with our uh, rifleman. Yeah, engineers now retreat, of course. And remember this mine? Well, that's a second scout unit coming here, right on that spot where we want to. Um, now we clear out the center who actually got his machine gun and I will retake that happily. We have our rifleman healed up, we have mortars, I think as you see is going really nice in points, in victory points, we're also looking really nice retaking that control. Now he will advance soon I think here um, as he gets this control of this munition point. Here uh, we again push with rifleman, mortar doing awesome job from down there as well. Uh, we're getting back with a scout here also to recap some positions. And that's another scout unit down. Mine's really working nice here. Just dirty munitions and uh, really having nice effect. Now we're getting back uh, regrouped to our front. We are kind of looking really nice. As I see them coming, I possibly will go in the back here. Like interesting maneuver trying to cut him off. Maybe get some vision in the back. Um side we get machine gun now we will be really annoying i put mortar just to cap uh, quite closer and have more range as i try to surround things uh we are being met with this infantry what we don't want to fight of course and we try to reposition our machine gun to have some suppression he's getting also some uh, vehicles as well and uh, as before as i took that really nice um, mortar for his machine gun. Now we'll see me taking some ATs. Uh, quite a good moment to do that. Uh, now we retreat to Power Scout. Uh, there was really nothing to do there. Uh, we stopped his advancement to the center. As we see, his unit's not really healed up yet, so possibly he. Uh, does not have that healing on his base. We get nice grenade here. As, uh, it just happens to be in the right spot uh, after he relocates his units, possibly not paying that much attention. Uh, we're back in our base again, uh, healing, getting back in the center, not losing that control of the map, getting some nice positions um, with the hard cover. Taking some units also, but mainly I'm just keeping it there. So we would be fighting. I would be getting back to the center and flanking him and taking some nice shots. And I got a T. I haven't seen this vehicle still of his, uh, but uh, well, I'm predicting. But he is going to go now for light vehicles, and he is, of course. I see it here. Uh, just put grenade. Of course, it's not taking it fully down. Maybe stopping a bit, not coming into my flanks until my AT is not ready. I kind of put it here, like uh, anticipating what he's going to come here or just cover this area. Not really happening. Again, same position for machine gun. So I'm just shooting that with mortar. Uh, so right now we not really um, catching that vehicle, uh, even though we he doesn't know we have AT, right? So we kind of sneaking on him uh, but we still having some control of the map getting back units in the center as well as we see scout will do some work on that in between zone between middle and the right side he's getting his AT so he's predicting our gray hand which indeed is coming out soon so yeah that's nice clay warriors or maybe just you know a good timing on uh, on unit production from both of us we are again uh, taking some nice models of his squad as you see, we are ahead by four in models and two in vehicles destructions. Really good stats for us. We bring AT quite closer. As I know, it's not here. It's doing something in center. Maybe he's coming. Yeah, he's coming from this flank. And um, 
Yes, that won't be great for us. He got that upgrade. Um, now, Mortar trying to take it a bit down. I prepare with sneaking attack. He doesn't know I have AT, doesn't know I have Greyhound. So I'm just positioning my uh, AT for maybe some retreat uh, path, right? From scouts, from other units, but we are going to wait. Another mine going out. Really nice. And baiting him, baiting him to come in and do some bad stuff. Well, uh, he doesn't know I have AT. One shot and another shot and it's down 3-0. Oh, another really great shot on his engineers. As we see, um, really great, actually, really great predictions uh, all over the place. Uh, as I said, I really enjoyed to play this battle. Somehow everything seemed to be in the place. Now, we are not really um, up in the fuel, right? We cannot really produce a lot of, so I'm just grabbing another uh, machine gun and another uh, rifleman squad. Uh, maybe you could invest in some different stuff, but I, it feels like I'm doing quite fine. I just got another vehicle of his, uh, so not really over committing to another AT, rather getting more manpower, just uh, kind of doing that fortification as I bring um, machine guns into the uh, those victory points. Um, see machine gun coming to the middle, uh, also some mines already here and they're doing a nice job uh, also mining that entrance path for him. Uh, seeing his AT kind of pushing from the side here, we see his machine gun and guess what will happen now? I just direct my mortar straight away to this flank and uh, go and barrage here just to smoke him out and get that point back on. Now, uh, we occupying this building, we getting that left side also with uh, our riflemen. So really good map control all over the place. Also getting that machine gun under that as he doesn't have any um, long range firepower as we have mortars. So that's really good for us. Unfortunately, we lose this machine gun, that nice grenade here as we kind of start to push there. Uh, now, this is the main mistake in the game. I'd say I'm losing a lot of models here, but I can't attack and like do the same for him. And um, so yeah, it, it it was not the best interaction for me. Um, bring another unit. Um, of course, I'm barraging that spot. He's not really retaking that, but what I'm doing in the back right now is amazing as well. I'm trying to do some cutting off maneuvers and also grabbing his fuel. Really important that map control, even though I'm not doing like amazingly in the front right now. He's kind of smoking out my units. I'm not losing that much, uh, that many models, of course. I'm bringing um, my Greyhound, also sending riflemen from behind. Doing a really nice job. I surround him here. It's really nice, actually. But also, I'm having that nice map control. As we see up close, not really afraid of any Panzerfaust here, as he already used one. And look at this. <laughs> that was amazing. So, yeah, really nice. 46 to 29. 3 0 here. Another clear, another cleared machine gun. Cleared AT gun. He has nothing to fight with. And um, yeah, even though we're right now not clocking those victory points, it's pretty much done uh, game, I'd say. I could even finish the game because of my uh, resource lead. You see, I haven't used quite a lot right now. Now, I think shots to Greyhound. I should have retreated in this path behind the building, uh, preventing any T shots. I didn't. Kind of relaxing a bit too much in the end of a battle, as I feel I do not have a lot of resistance. As we also see, he has in a lot of units there as well to fight with. And I'm waiting, I think, for just getting that tank depot. That's what I was kind of saving, also getting reinforcements, not really over committing. As I'm quite okay, 54, I could get like a unit or two to just finish everything up. But I was also looking for some um, vehicles, as I thought that he is going to take one, as he could. 150 fuel, so I was kind of anticipating that and uh, not getting a T yet, but um but waiting for some hellcats or something else you know so i felt that my um my infantry units could just uh, put those grenades on um these vehicles and uh, yeah, i have that control in that way until uh, we have that tank depot as we're quite close now 700 manpower is a bit too much to carry i think you could use that in the field quite effectively but not only i do not feel any pushback but also as we see our enemy possibly kind of you know psychologically 
basically surrendering and he is surrendering right now the that's really ours. nice Stand tight a win from me again always taking that map control always anticipating what he's going to do and yeah here i mean i am putting that tank depot also i'm bringing rifleman still 200 manpower left maybe i could have done a better job there but i felt i was dominating maybe a bit of pressure just getting me back to reality would force me to use more resources but overall i think it was quite a nice battle so thank you for watching this was free happy dolphin and see you next time on company Heroes 3 or any other series we have a lot right now we have 100 minute die we have age of mythology maybe smite coming back we have separate verdicts series so there's a lot of for grabs and i um, hope you like some of it so this was free happy dolphin thank you for watching and see you next time